Welcome to Therapy on Thursday. I am Minister Dre with our therapy thought for today entitled, What Are You Thinking? Philippians 4.8 says this, Finally, believers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable and worthy of praise, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good repute. If there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things, center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. Your mind is a battleground. It's where Satan wages war with you and he uses your thoughts to do it. It starts off early in life for some. A lot of adult folks are still battling negative words that were said to them that turned into negative thoughts, that turned into negative behavior. Some folks were told as a child that they were stupid, that they were too fat, too skinny, too dark, would never amount to anything. They were a big mistake. The negative thought that was developed into their own mind was that I'm just not good enough. Words have the power to shape you, mold you, and change the course of a person's life. It's no surprise that words of affirmations are ranked highest in the love language roster because words do turn into thoughts. If someone who I looked up to and respected told me, hey, you know what, you can do it then guess what? I'll believe that I can do it, so I'll do it. Think of that thing that you're trying to achieve or overcome and tell yourself, I can do it. When it comes to your thoughts, Satan will continue to feed you a lot of negativities. He'll call you names, question your ability, remind you about your failures and mistakes. He'll take your thoughts back to events and times that impacted you in a negative way. So what you have to do is to take authority over those thoughts and change its narrative. So let me share two things that you need to know when it comes to Satan's stinking thinking. First, you need to replace. Someone very wise told me to take every negative thought and replace it with a positive thought. Come on, tell yourself, swap it out. Our text says whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, think on these things. You may be the one, unfortunately, and I'm so sorry about that, that was affected by negative words as you were growing up. These words have given you a negative impression and image of yourself, and it has influenced your behavior. I previously shared that my family nickname is Booby, and a Booby is defined as a mistake. Uh, so I've been subliminally told all my life that I was a mistake, and I didn't even know it. Satan used that against me as I have made a lot of mistakes in the past and have felt at one time that I was a mistake altogether. But I've learned how to replace those negative thoughts with thoughts about who God says I am. Listen, I need you to do this. Write on pieces of paper, those little post-its, who God says you are, and then place them all over your house to see. So every time a negative thought comes, a positive one is posted straight in your view. Those thoughts are right about you and straight from the mouth of God. I am the apple of his eye. I am wonderfully made. I am the head and not the tail. And so are you. Replace the negative with the numerous positive attributes you possess. So remember, you definitely need to replace. And finally, you need to reflect. Our text says, whatever is true, center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. That, that's talking about thoughts there. What has helped me to outsmart the enemy when it comes to thoughts is reflecting on my own mistakes. Satan is the accuser of the, brother, the brethren, so he spends his time trying to remind you of your mistakes so you can feel guilty and shameful. But I beat him to the punch. <laughs> I reflect on my own wrong choices and I ask God to forgive me. And if anyone has been hurt by those wrong choices, I ask them to forgive me as well. And then I reflect on what I've learned from those wrong choices, but I don't let myself get condemned. The Bible says there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. But this process actually empowers me and makes me feel appreciative about my self-honesty. 
So when Satan tries to bring it up to me over and over and over again, I just keep thanking God for the lesson learned. After a while, Satan will leave me alone about it because he knows that he can't use it against me anymore. And in addition, he doesn't want me to keep thanking God, a worthy God who has given me chance after chance, a fresh start after a fresh start. Come on, how many of you know that God is a God of limitless chances? So in closing, Mahatma Gandhi quoted this, a man is but the product of his thoughts. What he thinks he becomes. Remember, it's not what they said about you. It's about what he says about you. Think on those thoughts. Come on, let's pray. Father, you are the Lord of our thoughts, God. Whatever you say, we believe it and that settles it. Fill our minds with thoughts that bring honor to your existence, honor to our existence. Thoughts that showcase how lovely we are, God. Thank you so much for loving us unconditionally. Thank you for giving us the mind of Christ. We give you all the glory for this Therapy Thursday, and it's in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you all. I pray that this therapy thought has been a blessing to you. Make sure you leave a comment. Go ahead and leave that comment for me and share something lovely about yourself. It's not being conceited. That's just you being thankful and grateful for who God has allowed you to become. I want you to remember that we are Stephen Ministry Church. If you need a Stephen minister to walk with you through any struggle, any journey of your life, we'll be here. Just give me a call and we'll call you once a week, pray with you and li just listen to you. I join Pastor Barbara and myself on our daily life lifting word. If you have a prayer request, you can text me, but that number is right there on the screen. And if you join us, we are some praying people and we will pray for your need and walk with you. But in the meantime, join me next week right here on this couch and we're going to talk some more. God bless you.